video provides company information only and is not intended as investment advice. Mana Decentraland Mana is a digital asset on the Ethereum blockchain in compliance with ERC-20 standards that is used in the virtual real estate and social gaming platform Decentraland. Decentraland uses two tokens, Mana and Land. Mana is an ERC-20 token that must be burned to acquire non-fungible ERC-721 land tokens. Mana tokens can also be used to pay for a range of avatars, wearables, names, and more on the Decentraland marketplace. Mana can be bought and sold for fiat currency or other digital currencies. It's traded on crypto exchange platforms such as Coinbase, SushiSwap, and Uniswap. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs, have been gaining ground in the past year. They can be bought and sold using fungible tokens, such as Bitcoin or Litecoin. Unlike fungible tokens, NFTs embed identification information in their smart contracts, making them unique. This uniqueness makes non-fungible tokens suitable as digital representations of analog items, ideal for recording and storing the ownership of digital items like collectibles, games, and art. In 2020, the trade volume of the NFT markets surpassed 250 million USD, a four times increase from 2019, while the market cap of the nascent industry of tokens representing an array of items, including artwork and game collectibles, reached $338 million, according to Forbes. Mana appears to be another beneficiary of the market mania surrounding non fungible tokens. This chart shows Mana's price change over the past three months compared with Bitcoin and Ethereum during the same period. Mana price grew 10 times more during the three months period. These are competitors for Decentraland Mana. These are cryptocurrencies with holders counts similar with that of Mana that drew investors' attention lately. The following are top social gaming platforms that provide similar experience with Decentraland. Decentraland Decentraland is the online virtual real estate platform using non-fungible token as its in-game currency. Users can purchase lands and create their own fantasy world. In Decentraland, everything is recorded on the Ethereum blockchain, so there's no central control over the assets users own. Minecraft Minecraft is one of the most popular sandbox games, with multiple versions running on different platforms. A sandbox game is a category of video or online games in which the player is not constrained to achieving specific goals and has a large degree of freedom to explore, interact with, or modify the game environment. Users can use these Lego-like elements to create environments and games of their own. Roblox Roblox is the online social gaming platform that gained popularity among children. Over half of Roblox users are children under 13. It offers simple tool sets to create in-game items and user-designed games. The majority of games produced using Roblox Studio are developed by children. Second Life Second Life is an online virtual world with no manufactured conflict and set objective, offering 3D-based user-generated content. It grew rapidly for the first few years since its publication in 2003 and reached 1 million regular users in 2013, but user count declined between 800,000 and 900,000 by the end of 2017. Due to the pandemic boost, Second Life has seen monthly active users grow from 700,000 to now 900,000. Grayscale, the world's largest crypto asset manager, has recently incorporated a trust for Mana. Mana is rolling high with the bullish momentum surrounding non-fungible tokens and Decentraland. Will this $1 cryptocurrency keep going strong? Subscribe to our channel, and we will keep you updated. Crypto Top Charts tracks crypto coins and portfolios. Powered by an AI-based rating system, Crypto Top Charts evaluates the relative technical strength of cryptocurrencies in short, mid, and long terms. Download by clicking the link in the description.